In the previous video, we looked at writing very big numbers in scientific notation. If you haven't yet watched that video, go back and take a look. But what about writing very small numbers? In order to write very small numbers less than 1 in scientific notation, we'll need to use negative exponents. A negative exponent says to multiply the inverse of a number of the base number a certain number of times. The inverse or 1 over that number. 10 to the negative 2 means the inverse of 10 multiplied by itself twice. 1 tenth times 1 tenth is 0 0.01. 10 to the negative 3 is 1 tenth times 1 tenth times 1 tenth or 0 0.001 and so on. And so we'll use negative exponents when writing numbers less than 1. To quickly write a number in scientific notation without writing out all of this, we'll do the same thing we did with big numbers and move the decimal place while counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hops gets us a number between 1 and 10. And so our exponent will be a negative 6. It's negative because this number is less than 1, and it's 6 because we had to move the decimal place 6 hops. Here's some practice for you with numbers less than 1. Pause the video and try to fill out the rest of the chart with scientific or decimal notation. When you're ready to continue, press play and I'll walk through the answers. For the number in the first row, I'll need to move the decimal place 1, 2, 3, 4 hops in order to get a number between 1 and 10. And so my answer in scientific notation will be 4.9 times 10 to the negative 4. My next number needs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hops. So in scientific notation, I'll write 9.701 times 10 to the negative 6. My next number just needs 2 hops. In scientific notation, I'll write 2.5 times 10 to the negative 2. Again, all of these exponents are negative because my numbers are less than 1. To go from scientific notation into decimal notation, I'll hop my decimal place over the number of spots indicated by the exponent. Be careful about the direction. We need to end up with a number less than 1, so our decimal place needs to hop over to the left. In this case, 5 spots. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I'll need placeholder zeros to hold the place of the decimal. My next number, the decimal has to hop over to the left, 1, 2, 3, and 4 spots. 1, 2, 3 placeholder zeros, and then the rest of the digits. The last number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hops, means that I need 5 placeholder zeros. and the rest of my number. So that's it for scientific and decimal notation for big and small numbers. The biggest problem that students will have is confusing negative and positive exponents, so pay attention to the sign. Big numbers have positive exponents, while small numbers
have negative exponents. That wraps it up for scientific notation and powers of 10.